My name's Steve Tomlin. Uh, I'm a green woodworker and a side tutor. I uh, was here at Saboon Fest last year, trying to help people look, think about more about how they design their spoons. And I've come back again to, to just push that on a bit further. There's a lot of people interested in craft and, and making spoons and just try and lift the level of the whole thing up a little bit. Okay, I'm uh, Fritjof Runhal and I'm uh, from Sweden. It's really fun to be here and enjoy everything. My day job is uh, woodworking. I try to make as much green woodworking as possible, but I also do uh, like uh, working with dry wood. Actually. It's making things for people's homes or daily use things. It takes a lot of work to work that out. How the, the thickness can taper and the rim can do the same without losing everything in the way. <laughs> the wood is a very big part of, of my life. I like woods, woodlands. It's a shame that we don't uh, make more nice things directly from the wood and put it into our daily life. And there is a huge amount of knowledge, everybody's knowledge that is kind of very rare nowadays. I'm very happy if I can share this, the little amount of knowledge that I've got through my ages of carving. If I can share that and make people have a closer relationship to woods and trees maybe, that sounds good. <laughs> I'm Jojo. Um, I've mostly been teaching axe work to complete beginners. I've been teaching them how to uh, safely use an axe, how to get a spoon blank most efficiently from your tim whatever timber that they've got. It's a good thing, it's a good project to do because we uh, will have an hour and a half and we'll axe out three or four blanks and then they'll go away and they can just go and sit in a circle around the campfire and pass their spoons. And trying to persuade more women to get into spoon carving. Because I think there's a gap in the market and I'm going to fill that gap. I'm going to be a role model and get women to carve spoons. I'm Sean Hellman. I'm from Devon, Dartmoor on Devon. Last year was just such an inspiration and I just went back on such buzz. I call myself an explorer in wood. That's what gives me the buzz. That's what floats my boat, really. I'm here primarily to teach and to share my knowledge with people. You know, I, I, I like sharing. This is what, one thing great about the green woodwork scene um, is that we really share. We, we talk to each other, we share ideas, we share inspiration. This is experience. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to pimp your spoon up a little bit. Pimp um, my spoon? <laughs> ornamentation, carving, sort of dragon dog heads on the, at the end of your spoon. 140 odd people in a field all carving spoons. Ten years ago, that was unheard of, you know. It was just great fun. Um, my name is Jared Stonedahl. I'm from uh, Wisconsin in the US. I'm a spoon carver, a bowl carver, and I work with birch bark. And I'm here at Spoonfest to uh, carve spoons and share, share and learn. Hey everybody, it's great to be back. I'm going to do an ax, um, axing out spoon blank demo tomorrow. And then uh, a class on uh, chip carving, coal roasting, uh, painting on Saturday or Sunday. It's to do it. One, one, four, not three, two, I'm Sue Holden. I'm an archaeological illustrator. I see so many people making the mistakes I made because I had no tuition. Probably Sue who inspired me to get into spoon carving. I've been trying to get people to use their axe further into the process of making a spoon because it's easier and less fatiguing than using a knife. And I think I've succeeded today. Everybody said that they've taken the process quite a lot further and that all were surprised how far they could use an axe and how versatile it was.
I'm Jan Harm Ter Brugge. I'm from Amsterdam. I'm an industrial designer by trade and I'm a spoon carver. I've been teaching uh, Swedish chip carving decorations. The, 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 the public is uh, very different from what I'm used, used to. They're much more attentive, lots of concentration and lots of progress in a very short time. Fabulous. My name is Fred Livesey. I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota. That's in the States. I'm a spoon carver. Uh, and I do a bunch of different things. I'm sort of a Fred of all trades. And I do uh, restoration carpentry. Um, but mostly I do a lot of teaching. I've been doing classes in knife work and axe work. I get stuck with the kids, which is fine. I like the kids. And then I did a design workshop, which was more of a discussion, practicum kind of thing. I'm Owen Thomas. I'm from. I live in Surrey. I've been. Uh, I work as Barn the Spoons Apprentice up in London. And this weekend at Spoonfest, I've been teaching uh, some axe techniques for beginners. And I've also been teaching how to use one of the large spoon knives, which is called a Tupacam. Spoonfest has been very good. It's totally worth the effort, I think.